Great, thank you very much, Susan. Um, so I thought I would start with just sharing some of the areas that we'll cover today. And I, I kind of went uh, broad with this topic, but also going deep in a few areas as well. So you'll see as I go through the presentation, I do call out a few areas that I plan to give a, a little bit further details uh, to, but it's really a, a kind of a broad overview to give everyone a, um, a taste for some of the performance and, and productivity improvements that can that you can see with the theory of constraints. <clears throat> so we'll start with an overview of the theory of constraints, and then also I'll share some key principles that can boost productivity and results within your organizations, and then also share ways that you can access this valuable knowledge. Um, over the years, sometimes theory of constraints knowledge has been difficult to access, but over time it's be become easier and easier to find uh, references and, and areas where you can access additional information. So I'll share I'll share some of that with you as well. So starting with an overview of the theory of constraints, theory of constraints was first introduced in the book The Goal by Dr. Ellie Goldratt and Jeff Cox in 1984. And the methods described in that book are still as relevant today as they were back in 1984, uh, which, is, which is rather amazing. The subtitle of the book is A Process of Ongoing Improvement, and you'll hear that referred to oftentimes as PUGI. So if you ever hear the, the term PUGI, that really um, is describing the process of ongoing improvement. The book, The Goal and the Theory of Constraints, really describes scientific methods to achieve more of your goal. And one of the first steps in improving within an organization is to really understand what is the goal of that organization. For most for-profit organizations, the goal is probably something financial, <clears throat> but certainly not-for-profits and other organizations can have goals that are, are, are not financially related. And the scientific methods um, help to achieve more of your goal by increasing throughput primarily. So if you think of throughput as flow, um, increasing throughput is, is the primary focus within the theory of constraints. But also decreasing inventory and also decreasing operating expenses. The goal had over six million copies sold and, the, and it revolutionized the manufacturing industry. Within the, the 30th anniversary edition, which I have visualized here, there's also a white paper included that Dr. Ellie Goldratt um, published, uh, which you can, you can search for it. It's called Standing on the Shoulders of Giants. Just search for that, probably put in a, a, a PDF um, and you'll, you'll, you'll find a copy of that. It's, it's a very uh, informative white paper and I do recommend folks take a look at that. What Dr. Goldratt describes in this white paper called Standing on the Shoulders of Giants, he begins by describing how Henry Ford uh, really revolutionized the, the manufacturing processes back in his time. And then later, Taichi Ono with Toyota, really the, the developer of the Toyota production system, stood on the shoulders of, of Henry Ford. He really studied and learned what did Ford do to have such great success. And as he understood that, he was able to, to stand on the shoulders of Henry Ford, so to speak, and take a major leap forward in the way that he improved uh, manufacturing and production uh, in his time at Toyota. Dr. Goldratt really studied Henry Ford and Taichi Ono as well, and many believe that he stood on the shoulders of these giants and took major leaps forward as well with, with the theory of constraints. In this white paper, Dr. Goldratt also, um, also references Deming as someone who really helped him to understand systems thinking. And, and so you can consider Deming also one of the giants that, that Dr. Ellie Goldratt stood on the shoulders of. The solution within the goal is referred to as drum buffer rope. And I'll probably touch on that a little bit as we go through the presentation, but I won't be doing a deep dive in, into the, the drum buffer rope solution of, of manufacturing and production. 
but I'll share a little bit as we continue. One of the things that's interesting to note is that Jeff Bezos, with, uh, the CEO of Amazon, he brought his executive leadership team together for an all-day book club, and they focused on the goal. This was back in, in 2013. And now if I just go back one slide, I can kind of point out something on the book to goal, and you might not be able to see it, but down here in the corner, it indicates required reading for Amazon's management. And so it's really become a way for the Amazon leadership to uh, think differently about productivity and performance within the organization. And of course, we all know that Amazon has had tremendous success over the years. Jim Whitehurst, also uh, the CEO of Red Hat, he's indicated the goal is his favorite business book of all time. That was a, a quote from a, a 2015 interview. So you've got these top leaders of organizations, and certainly there are many more, but I just call out these two in particular, um, who, who really see the, the methods, the concepts, the different ways of thinking about systems uh, within the theory of constraints as tremendously valuable mechanisms to help improve uh, the productivity and performance and the results uh, within their organizations. Here, here are a list of um, some of the organizations that I personally see on a regular basis as I, as I travel the world and attend uh, conferences and I see uh, companies presenting their results and the performance improvements that they've had by applying the TOC methods. One of the, the organizations here that's, that's worth calling out, well, they're all probably worth calling out, but one that I will call out is the state of Utah. This is the state government of Utah, and they have been for the past few years heavily focused on using theory of constraints methods to help improve the way state government operates, the, the, the results that they can achieve for their taxpayers. What they're really interested in doing is using the taxpayer dollars for as much benefit as they can possibly produce. So they're looking to uncover extra capacity within the, the government. They're, they're looking to improve the throughput, the speed of flow within different departments. If you think about uh, perhaps uh, child protective services, I listened to a, a presentation given by, by some of the leadership in the, the state of Utah Child Protection Services Group, and what they're really interested in doing is improving the speed that they can address uh, those cases, because uh, if they address those cases slowly, they've got a child that could be in danger, but if they can address those cases quickly and, and get the, the, the problem resolved, they can do a lot of good for the society. Really at the foundation of the theory of constraints and introduced in, in the book, The Goal, what are the five focusing steps? Hi there, I hope you enjoyed that last clip. My name is Michael Maloudis, and if you'd like to watch the full 60 minutes of that last webcast, while also gaining complete unlimited access to our entire library of IT learning, simply visit our subscribe page at greatpro.org slash subscribe. Unlimited annual access is $199 per year, but if you use the coupon code learn to earn you can drop that membership fee to just $149. That's less than $13 per month for unlimited access to over 1,000 hours of on-demand career development, covering the entire spectrum of IT management best practices, including business analysis and requirements, software development, quality and testing, risk management, process improvement, project management, and even digital transformation. But your membership doesn't just give you unlimited access to our vast learning library. You also get free access to our mobile app, as well as direct access to our network of over 300 of the world's leading IT consultants, all of whom are dedicated to putting practical knowledge at your fingertips so that you can learn more and earn more. I hope you will join me in becoming a member of the great IT professional and advancing your career with us. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button above so that you get notified whenever we publish new free webcasts each week of the year. Thank you for your time and best wishes for your continued success.